since the dawn of time, we have searched for ways to make our life easier for us. The modern age has given us some amazing technological advances. Can you imagine living today without the internet, without your mobile phones or without high-speed travel? For many of us, surviving life without these things is unimaginable. If you or your loved ones have diabetes, you would undoubtedly be a big fan of a particular discovery of the 20th century, insulin. Hello everyone, I am Shivani Desai and along with my teammate Mr. Shakti Singh, welcome you once again to the discussion forum of type 1 diabetes mellitus. In the previous session, we had an overview of various ongoing research on type 1 diabetes. And in this video, we will be looking into the journey of insulin. In the era before the discovery of insulin, that is before 1921, people with diabetes didn't live for long. There wasn't much that doctors could do for them. The most effective treatment was to put the diabetic patients on a strict diet with minimal carbohydrate intake. This could buy patients a few extra years but couldn't save their lives for long. How did this remarkable breakthrough bloom then? For this, let's travel back a little more than 100 years ago. In 1889, two German researchers, Oskar Minkowski and Joseph Gorn Mehring, found that when pancreas gland was removed from dogs, the animals developed symptoms of diabetes and died soon afterwards. This led to the idea that pancreas was the site where the pancreatic substance, insulin, was produced. In 1910, Sir Edward Elbert suggested only one chemical was missing from the pancreas in people with diabetes. He decided to call this chemical as insulin, which comes from a Latin word insula, meaning island. In 1921, something truly miraculous happened. Frederick Benting and Charles Best extracted the pancreatic islet cells from healthy dogs and presented them to the dogs with diabetes, which could reverse the diabetic conditions. This was a stepping stone towards the management of type 1 diabetes by the discovery of the hormone insulin. Later, with the help of two other scientists, they purified insulin extracted from the cow's pancreas and marketed the first treatment option for type 1 diabetes. In January 1922, this research was finally translated to humans when 14-year-old boy Leonard Thompson received an insulin injection to treat his diabetes. This helped him to survive for more than 13 years, but eventually he died of pneumonia. And the journey continues. In the following decade, manufacturers developed a variety of slow-acting insulins. Insulin from cattle and pigs was first used for many years to treat diabetes and save millions of lives. But this wasn't perfect, as it caused allergic reactions in many patients. The first genetically engineered synthetic human insulin was produced in 1978 using E. coli bacteria. In 1986, preferred syringes of insulin, insulin pen delivery system, was made available, which was a safe and convenient way to deliver a required dose of insulin. And soon after that, in 1990s, external insulin pumps were also invented, which could provide healthier results, more flexibility and easier treatment management. Today, insulin comes in many forms, from regular human insulin, identical to what body produces on its own, to ultra-rapid and ultra-short-acting insulins. Thanks to decades of research that people with diabetes can now choose from a variety of formulas and ways to take their insulin based upon their needs and lifestyle. From homolog to novolog and insulin pens to insulin pumps, insulin has come a long way. It may not be a cure for diabetes, but it is definitely a lifesaver. Insulin is a medical marvel in the world of type 1 diabetes. We invite you all to share your experiences and your knowledge with us so we can work together towards the eradication of this autoimmune diabetes. You can help us by sharing your thoughts and knowledge in the comment section or write us to our email info at t1dm.org or through the contact tab at the end of this page. Let's work towards a permanent solution to prevent and reverse type 1 diabetes and eradicate this disease. Let us join hands and take a step forward into freedom from type 1 diabetes.